شاء الله تعالى أستاذ شكرا what advice uh, would you give a husband who isn't fulfilling his responsibilities like providing for his wife due to negligence and he has the money and what's your advice to the wife this is something I've spoken about many 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 times the rights that the wife has on the husband is that he provides for her um, for his wife and for his children it's a, it's a must it's a basic rights that the husband has uh, the basic rights that the, the wife has and if the person doesn't do it Yomul Qiyamah he has to respond to tough questions that are awaiting from him, for him um, and he will be asked about it Yomul Qiyamah as the hadith of uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ما من عبد يسترعيه الله الرعية يموت يوم يموت وهو غاش للرعية إلا حرم الله عليه الجنة that there is not a person Allah placed a responsibility on them and they forsake the responsibility that was put on them except the Jannah will be made haram from them Allah تبارك وتعالى he commanded us in the Quran أسكنوهن من حيث سكنتم من وجودكم ولا تضاروهن لتضيقوا عليهن يعني you're not allowed to use your wealth and your finance to, to, to be harsh to someone يعني Allah says وعلى المولود له رزقهن وكسوتهن بالمعروف ولهن عليكم رزقهن وكسوتهن بالمعروف الإمام مسلم صحيح يعني the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said to the believers the believing men أن تطعمها you have to give to the woman okay إذا طعمت when you eat وتكسوها إذا اكتسيت ولا تضرب الوجه ولا تقبح ولا تهجر إلا في البيت so the scholars are unanimously in agreement that the man has to give food to the wife that he's married to he has to give her clothing for her to wear and if he does it, then he loses the rights. He uses, loses the right of being a husband. Okay? Because when the man married the woman, one of the things that he married her with, it was that he was going to provide for the girl. He was going to, he, he, the promise he made was that he's going to provide for her. That's why the Prophet Sallallahu he said, أَحَقُّ مَا أَوْفَيْتُمْ مِنَ الشُّرُوطِ أَن تُوفُوا بِهِ مَسْتَحَلَلْتُمْ بِهِ الْفُرُوجِ and Imam Bukhari and Muslim both narrated it. Like the greatest thing that a person can fulfill from the conditions is that which comes through marriage. Okay? And Allah also said in the Quran, Ya amanu awfu bil Fulfill the promises and the covenants that you made. Also, Imam Bukhari and Muslim both narrated in Hadith Abu Mas'ud al Badiri radiallahu ta'ala anhu. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said, Ida anfaqa rajul ala ahli nafaqatin wa yahtasiwa kanat lahu sadaqa. That if a man provides for his wife and his family and he believes this is going to be a sadaqah and a way to get closer to Allah, wa ta'ala, Allah will make it for him. So brothers and sisters, fear Allah, brothers who have wives, who have children, who are not providing for their wives and children and they have the money. If the man doesn't have it, there's something else. But if you don't have it, so if you have it and you've got the wealth and you're not providing for your wife, Two things I want to say to you. The first thing I want to say to you is where are you going to, where are you going to go to, from it? Yawm al-Qiyamah. When you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He judges you and He accounts you for it. Yawm al-Qiyamah. What are you going to say to Him? Yawm al-Qiyamah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second thing inshallah ta'ala I want to say is even in this world you've got the wealth and you've got the money. Is it not embarrassing that you have wealth and your wife is struggling, where is your decency? Where is your ghirah? Where is your iman? Where is even your يعني, your rahmah, the, the mercy in the human's heart? Where is that gone from, from that person? No. So that person, he loses qawwama because the ayah says, الرجال قوامون على النساء بما فضل الله بعضهم على بعض وبما أنفقوا من أموالهم the man, he has the qawama, yani he's responsible over this family when he comes with these qualities. The first one of them is, um, he is physically helping his wife. And the second one is, he's financially helping his wife. If the husband can't do that, then this marriage, this sister and this brother are in, is something they need to be, they, it needs to be evaluated again and looked at again. If they can, yani go to a third person to talk to and discuss the issue with, they should do so. Okay? If the brother doesn't have anything and he's not, he hasn't got the money, 
he's financially low, he would love to give to his wife, but he doesn't have it, then I would advise the sister to inshallah ta'ala be patient with her husband, encourage him, this moment of weakness that he doesn't have a job, he's suffering, he doesn't have money, he really wants to do it, she should inshallah ta'ala show some patience with him, and even him in that meantime, since he doesn't have the money, and he's not providing financially, no monetary help, what should be at least attained from him is kind words, you know, reassurance all the time, because he's short in his rights, so he should always remind her, don't worry, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to get a job, I promise I'm going to take care of you, don't worry, take it easy, this is just a moment that's coming, we just need to be patient, inshallah ta'ala.